Now, Tunisia will hold presidential elections in just three days, but the streets of the country's capital show no signs of political activity or buzz. Most people are carrying out their mundane routine despite voting just days away. This election season, there have been no campaign rallies or public debates in Tunisia. Nearly all the campaign posters in the country are of the incumbent president. Many feel the election is not being contested on even grounds. So how do the Tunisians feel about it? We do not feel a significant atmosphere regarding the elections because it seems that the people have not heard much about it. And there isn't the same media interest as before. People are no longer as concerned with political issues as they were at the beginning of the revolution. I don't consider this an election at all. There is no election, just an endorsement. A mere endorsement for a person who holds all the powers and can do whatever he wants in the country and change the laws as he pleases. The scenes from the streets of Tunisia were very different five years ago. Mass rallies, campaigning were a regular future of the election back then. But today the scenario is completely different and many blame the ruling president for it. The October 6th election will see a political battle between only three presidential candidates, as opposed to 14 more leaders who had submitted nominations to contest. And the first candidate is incumbent, of course, Kai Saeed. Second presidential candidate is Ayachi Zamel. And third, Zuhair Makzaw. Unfortunately, these election campaigns started slowly and has been lackluster on all levels. Whether concerning the activities of the candidates for this presidential election or the interest of ordinary citizens in these elections, which seem important, yet we have seen a kind of lethargy, a slowdown and indifference towards this election. <laughs> Just days ahead of the polls, a Tunisian court sentenced Syed's political rival, Ayachi Zamel, to 12 years behind bars. Critics of Syed say that he has cracked down on his competition using the judiciary to secure his re-election bid. Zamel, who is the head of the opposition, Azimon party, has already been jailed since last month on charges of falsifying voter signatures on his candidacy paperwork. However, he is still being allowed to contest elections. The opposition and several civil society groups opposed to the ruling president, they have called for a mass protest on Friday, just two days before voting. The demonstrations will be carried out against what critics accuse an authoritarian rule. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.